Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video we will look at the Condi Alak Untamed build. I have used it for quite some time now and have made two small adjustments to the meta build. The adjustments was replacing exploding spores with sun spirit. The reason I did this was because in group content there are some bosses that ignore the fervent force trait. If the trait doesn't proc then you won't get any cooldown reduction and cannot keep up alacrity as needed. The other change I made was adding some boon duration, as the meta build doesn't use any. Again, this was to improve alacrity uptime in group content at a small DPS loss. These changes are made based on a safe margin of downtime due to mechanics, downstates and such, because testing on a golem will not represent the actual fights. For example, in the Aether Blade Strike, there will be quite a few moments of invulnerability and you'll be unable to proc verb and force, losing a lack uptime. Now let's start with the gear. I'm using full viper's armor and weapons with runes of the crate and sigils of earth and geomancy for all that bleed damage and duration. As for trinkets, this is where I selected the ritualist stats for the boon duration, but you can replace pieces of armor or even weapons to reach around 20 or 30% boon duration. And finally for the food and utility we are going with superior holographic apples and you can use soul pastries if you need more boon duration or super veggie pizza if you are ok with less. For example in fractals I do not use any boon duration food because you get boon duration when using the fractal potions or if you have a quickness herald as dragon face it extends the boon duration. Now moving on to the build we use nature magic for alacrity with bountiful hunter, spirited rival and nature's vengeance. Next we use skirmishing for the increased bleed damage and faster recharge after a weapon switch. Here we select sharpened edges, hidden barbs and quick draw. And finally untamed with blinding outburst, enhancing impact and fervent force. As for the skills we go with 3 spirits. I chose water, sun and storm. Sharpening stone for more bleeding and entangle for even more bleed. But if you need stability you can switch it for forest fortification. And let's see how to play the build. We start off summoning the spirits before the fight starts so we can provide the alacrity directly. Then use the pet skills in this order. Venonymous outburst to teleport the pet to your target. Enveloping haze to create a poison combo field. And rending vines to blast the poison field. The skills are instant so you can do this really fast and then use the spirit skills for alacrity. Now switch weapons and use skill 4 to lower its cooldown for the next use, then use 2 and 3, and skill 4 should be up again, then spirit skills. Now repeat until weapon switches off cooldown and use skill 4 directly again. One thing to note here is that we try to position ourselves on the side or behind the boss if it's possible to increase the damage. If it's not possible it's ok, just stay with the group so they can get alacrity. When weapon switches on cooldown, unleash yourself and use skill 1 for some big damage and health recovery. And make sure your pet skills are set to autocast so you don't have to press them. Let's see the build in action. Shoulder, uh, so don't wear my cigarette. 
to tell me you're no good I'm brushing away to you The weight of you Of my shoulder yeah. I'm done with my cigarette In conclusion, this build is fun and engaging. It is a lot more complicated to provide alacrity with this compared to an alac mechanist, but if you're into more engaging gameplay and like the ranger class, then use this build. The damage is also decent and has high survivability rate if you take forest fortification and use unleashed skill on axe. I hope this helped you see if Condi alac untamed is for you or not. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.